Hi, and welcome to our, one of our most recent tasks, the speaker ID workflow. So I'm going to show you how to identify the speaker in a, any given video. For that kind of task, we will usually give one worker permission to work on several kind of videos. So the general rule of thumb will be that we give you either the names of the speakers in the email or you will know about the names in the first video that we send you through a link. So you will make sure you will get the video that when the speaker is introduced, you will see that video first so you know who the speakers are. All right. So again, you want to log into your Crowd Virtualizer account and then you click on Tasks. You click on Review Audio Transcription and then you go to the queue that we asked you to go and that we gave you permission to, which could be either Third Pass 2, Third Pass 1, Manual 1, Speaker ID 1 or Speaker ID 2. All right. We're going to go to third pass one, of third pass two, sorry, and then we will get to this task, one of these tasks here. So for this person, for this speaker, we don't really have a speaker ID. So what we want to do is we want to insert male or female, depending if the, of the person, if, if the speaker is a male or a female person. And male 1, male 2, or male 3, or female 1, female 2, or female 3, in case we don't know the name of the speaker. Okay. So all we have to do is basically watch the video and then insert the speaker name. So let's play this. So to work it, of course, we have to accept the task first. So let's accept the task. There are many different types of music videos or... So right here we don't have an introduction for the person. So what we do, we just hit male like this. And then we watch the video if there's any kind of speaker change all the way through. You can also see here, this is a 4 minute, 59 seconds video. So you can estimate how long it's going to probably take you. They're called in Europe music clips. There are recorded performances. There are very straight ahead stories which unfold just like a fiction film would. I will skip a little forward here just because I went through this video already and I know there's no speaker change at all. So right here I know the next speaker change is going to start here and here's what I'm going to do. I skip forward and I click In play this again. Case, the filmmakers decided to add a story about the woman who Bally gives his love to. And the story turns out to be a dream of the woman at a slumber party. Clutching a teen magazine as she and her friends listen to the song, she imagines what it would be like to be loved by Valley. So what we here want to watch out, when there's music being played, we don't want this speaker change. So this is not necessary. There's no speaker change sign needed. And we also do not transcribe any lyrics. You don't have to do that. All right. We change that. We hit play. Okay, so we can delete all this. Let's merge those two set snippets and then delete it. Play again. Once we are in okay so this is also part of the lyrics so we can delete that one let's merge those two snippets again delete all this we leave the period so it will not separate two snippets or two sentences okay like this and we'll go. Get to the next one. Once we are into her. Okay. Now is the speaker change again. So now we want to insert mail again. Two dots. All right. And hit play again because we had basically a speaker change because there was music in between. So whoever reads the caption wants to know who is the speaker now. 
We discover that Bally is performing at her school. Also, here's a period missing. We'll dance. So, also, there's no speaker change needed here because it's still the same person, so there's no in need for an indicator. Again, period missing here, and the speaker change needs to be removed. Let it play. Then we can see this is clearly not what the speaker says anymore. This is already the music. So what we want to do is we want to flag this for timing. And this one as well. Okay. And then play again. They end up dancing together and after the music, we have the male speaker again. We insert male. After a bit, we dissolve through to them getting married. Oops, maybe we mistake. Might as well just Once this happens, back. everybody's happy. And at the end of the video, we ripple back to a very happy girl who is still listening to the song on the ancient turntable. So as it turns out, this story is not about Bally then. Okay. So, see, this is all the time the same speaker. I know that because I went through the video already. Usually we would have to go all the way through, make sure that not, no, not too many speaker changes, and that we remove all the arrows that we have inserted in here. So anything that is too many speaker changes or too little needs to be changed. And as soon as an actual speaker change, you need to identify the speaker either as male or as female or as female 1 or female 2 or if the name is given the name. Okay, so we can hit submit. Yes, this hit is complete. Now I want to give you another example I here. I hope that this has been an interesting and a fun walk through yep. the values of knowing your story both before and during the editing process. Okay, I want to give you this example here. We accept the task again. This is an example of when other audio is being played. At this point, again we have the same person. We insert male at the beginning. We've discussed how to know what frame to edit on. And we've been considering now, you may no remember this change, area so of our edit of it. jump. In our first edit, we cut the area like this. <laughs> okay, so here the laugh we definitely needs to speak a change because it's a different person. In our first. Play. You may remember this area of our edit. Of, in our first edit, we cut the area like this. <laughs> I never okay. So here I put too much in here. Move it. This. So now here's a girl speaking now. She's gonna say, I never said it. Speak. Okay, so it's female. We hit play again. No. Remember this area of our edit in our first this. <laughs> I never said that, Bree. I want to be caught dead going to the dance with you. Note that we have T. Now we have a speaker change again. We remove the arrows and we insert male. Play. Yana's dialogue finishing before we cut to Magellan. This has a very specific effect. When we cut from a character who is talking to someone who isn't, we emphasize the line that we've just come from. Okay. So, again, we have a speaker change here. We then chose to change the place where we cut out of Tiana, moving it earlier. <laughs> That's two periods, so we move one. Alright. <laughs> I never said that. There's again a female. I want to be caught dead going to the dance with you. Good. 
This is a similar and here's the male one again. Here's concept the to the first one. We are cutting off of someone who's talking to someone who's all right. We go down. Same scenario here. In this one, we're going to cut from someone who is listening to someone who is talking. So here we go from Magellan listening to Tiana. Mm. We're going from Magellan. Don't forget the male one here again. So here we go from Magellan listening to Tiana. And this is going to emphasize, this is, in my point, I want to say person right here. Every single frame has power. And then we can And it's the somebody. editor who, yes, this is complete, can wheel. Thank you very much. That is it already. Thank you. I hope that this has been an interesting.